Um, okay, well, I'll, I'll kick it off. And then as we do intros, hopefully a couple more people will be joining and um, we can dive in. Um, the presentation will probably take around 30, 40 minutes today. Um, I know it might've booked uh, an hour on your calendar if you added it, but um, that it kind of depends on questions and things like that. So very excited for you to join us as we walk through some of the new products we have. Um, a couple of them might you might have seen in stores if you've been in recently, and some are just new to arrive. So we're excited to share that with you today. Um, I'm Shahan Ganji. I have been at the Tile Shop for about five years now, working in the marketing department in various um, roles. And with me today is Luke, who will be leading the presentation. Um, at the end, I just wanted to let you all know, along with, again, the video being recorded, a couple of people joined late, we'll be able to share that, but there will be a short survey you can complete um, for a chance to win $250, as well as enter your information to receive our newest catalog that's coming out in about a month. So um, thank you for joining us today, and I'll pass it off to Luke for the presentation. Awesome. Thanks, Jahan. Thank you, everybody, for being here. We're super excited to have you. Um, it's always great to sort of talk through new and exciting products that are coming in, trends that we're seeing, and the products that we have that align with those trends. Um, so it's great that you guys are here. And like Jahan said, if you have any questions, please jump in. Feel free to ask. Um, we always want to answer those for you. So let's get started. So uh, our handmade look uh, or, or real handmade tiles, um, this is a trend that we're seeing just get stronger and stronger and stronger. Those you know, rough, uneven edges or the rough, uneven surfaces, imperfections in the glaze or crackles, um, you can get you know, really high color variation, uh, even get a fume edge, which means like a smoked edge to those. All those things that take a manufactured sort of hard tile and, and really soften it up and make it look a little bit more artisanal. And that's what we're really seeing out there. So we, we have plenty and we brought in a few more and we have more coming in, but we wanted to talk about two of them today. Uh, the first one is our Zellage collection. So this is real Zellage, real handmade tile. Uh, it's from Morocco. Uh, Zellage specifically means that it is hand glazed and that it's chiseled to the desired side by, by hand. Um, you also have um, handmade dyes that are used to press uh, specific shapes out of clay as well, and then are glazed after that um, as a part of this Zellers tradition as well. So we went straight to Morocco, straight to the source uh, where this uh, tile tradition started to bring you this collection. Uh, it's available in four colors. So we have black, dark, and light gray, and then a white. Uh, and it's available in three sizes and then one pattern. So we have the four by four square, uh, a two by six subway size, a two by two mosaic. And at the bottom there, you can see our eight inch Chabon pattern. Um, I really love this pattern for the pattern itself, but we also brought in a little bit of a twist. Most of the Zellage is all gloss, but for the Chabon pattern, we decided to do uh, a mix. So the cross is gloss and the star is matte. So like, it's a really sort of interesting look. We're going to be bringing in um, all matte and all gloss for this pattern, but we started out with the mix because it was a really interesting take on that. Um, we're also going to be adding two new colors, alabaster and alabaster pearl, very shortly. These guys just arrived, so you may not see them in stores or online right away, but they should be available uh, to, to order right away, um, but they will be in stores and on our website here in the coming weeks. We took this uh, as an example to show those true hand chiseled edges that you see on those four by four squares. Um, and then you can see it's a little bit cleaner on the two by twos that are for the mosaic. Those are the, the hand pressed dies that are used to make that size. Um, because of the imperfections in the, the edges, uh, it's recommended that these tiles are installed uh, very tight together, almost butt joint together. Uh, and then when you grout with like an unsanded grout, uh, that grout will just fill in uh, any of those uh, areas where, where there are gaps. Now, because Zellage is imperfect, um, perfectly imperfect, if you will, um, some people may not be interested in dealing with those kind of installation issues. Um, so we did bring in a manufactured collection that looks like the real uh, handmade Zellage. So that is the Riyadh collection. Um, the name actually comes from the, uh, the, the Riyadh, which is the traditional courtyard um, in Moroccan architecture. 
Um, it's available in this four by four size, um, which is a really traditional size for that sellage uh, look. Um, and we have it in the three colors. So we have it in white, we have it in sand, and then also in gray. And you can see in this photo, the, the sort of uneven surfaces and uneven edges. It's a lot cleaner than the, the zellage for those edges. Um, so installing these uh, is, is a little bit easier. You can use your traditional spacers and, and normal grouting like you would uh, with regular tile. Um, I love these two photos. The one on the right really highlights one of the unique features of this tile, which is that high color variation, which really lends itself to that really great artisanal handmade look. Um, and I just love one of our designers recently sent this in uh, the photo on the left, that really great uh, checkerboard pattern um, with this as well. So two really fun ways to install this. Now, patterns are nothing new in tile, right? They, they've been around forever, basically, um, you know, starting with true encaustic tiles, which use different colors of clay to create the pattern in the tile. Then technology advanced a little bit and we got to cement tiles from the Victorian era. And that's where different pigments were used to dye cement uh, to create the patterns in the tile. And then now we are using digital printers to print these patterns onto porcelain and ceramic. So as technology has advanced, so have uh, the options for patterns. And so we want to introduce a few that we added recently for you. So the first pattern is really exciting. This is a brand new uh, collaboration with Morris & Co. Um, we took one of William Morris's original wallpaper uh, patterns and translated it uh, into tile. So this pattern is from 1895. Um, it's a really delicate floral pattern, um, sort of a faded look to it as well. Uh, it comes in uh, three colors, the linen, which is shown here uh, in the kitchen, cloud gray, which is a little bit more blue tone, and then the black ink. What I love about uh, this tile is that we've really seen wallpaper and, and really the, the Morris & Co wallpapers really have just an amazing renaissance. They're really coming in. And we get to use those patterns now in places that you wouldn't traditionally be able to uh, to use them. So you wouldn't be able to use it in a shower with real wallpaper or, you know, behind the, the countertops in the kitchen where, uh, you know, you, you would be wor worried about it getting dirty. Um, also getting that same great look of that pattern on a floor wouldn't really be possible if we only had it as wallpaper. So this collaboration was a lot of fun. Um, and, you know, this, this pattern and the, the three different colorways, they really, they're just absolutely stunning. Luke, I'm just going to pause you for one second. Yeah. Wanted to just say we had a couple more people join um, and I wanted to welcome everyone. Um, remind everyone you can use the Q&A feature if you have any questions, we're here to ask, um, ask away. And um, at the end, we'll also be uh, recording this. So for any of you who maybe missed a couple of the slides in the beginning, um, you'll receive a recording link tomorrow so you can catch up. So thanks for joining us. Great, thanks, John. So another partner that we've been working with for a few years is the team at Laura Ashley. Um, and back in 2018, we added two patterns from their archive. Uh, we added the Mr. Jones pattern and the Wicker pattern. Um, we added them in two colors, the charcoal and the dove gray, and they blew up. Our customers absolutely love these. We love them too. And so we were looking at them and going, what can we do? How can we freshen them up? So we went back to the team at Laura Ashley and said, hey, what are your, what's your palette right, right now? What are your colors that you're working with? And they presented us with three gorgeous colors. And so we really, really wanted to, to just freshen this, this collection up a little bit. So we added uh, two colors to the wicker pattern. So we added the sea spray and the pale slate. And in the Mr. Jones, we added that midnight, that really beautiful blue. I love these tiles. This pattern is really great. Now, what I love about it is that it sort of has the best of both worlds. It's got some geometric and then it's got some sort of softer floral. So you get a little bit of sort of masculine and feminine here. Um, and I also love that the background of these tiles is sort of a weathered cement look, which just sort of softens this pattern up a little bit more. Um, Luke, we had a couple of questions come in. One about availability in different regions throughout the US. So, um, I guess some of these have just arrived as you spoke to earlier, um, just so it kind of depends on various ones, but right now the Laura Ashley and Morris & Co should are available in stores. 
And online as well. Yep. Online. Yep. Um, as well as what is the typical waste for the Morrison Cotile? Um, it, about the same as you would normally expect, um, you know, somewhere between 10 and 15%. Um, you know, with a 13 by 13 tile, uh, typically it's going to be less than maybe with like a larger size tile where there's going to be a lot of cutting involved. Um, so yeah, you'd still recommend between 10 and 15% for that. And what's great is that our return policy is, is phenomenal. No restocking fees or anything. So if you order a little bit too much, full boxes can always be returned within 90 days. So that's just, you know, you need to add them or add more, don't worry about it. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. So this pattern, our next pattern here, the Laval is actually a sort of direct response to feedback that we got from, from all of you. Um, our, our customers, our designers, our sales associates who are talking to their customers, they told us that they love pattern and pattern is great and they love seeing it on floors. Um, but what they did say is that a lot of our patterns had a lot of color and what they really wanted to see was something a little bit simpler in terms of color. So they were looking for some like single color pattern on a solid background. And so that's where uh, this started. Um, so, so we love this pattern. This is a fairly standard sort of French uh, like Florida Lee inspired uh, pattern. And we did it in two colors, just a black and a light gray called uh, Noir and Gris um, on sort of an off white background. So the, that, that contrast, you can either have a, a pretty high contrast with the Noir or something a little bit softer with, with the Gris. Um, either way though, it's a little bit simpler and really highlights the, the, the full pattern with just having a single color. A few more patterns that are coming in. Um, these guys just landed recently. So again, they're, they're not on our website quite yet, uh, but you should see them here in a few weeks. Same thing with them being in stores. Um, and when we say that they've landed, that means that they're at our distribution centers and they're available to order, but we just don't have the displays in the showrooms yet. We don't have everything ready to go online yet as well. Um, the, again, these patterns here are great because they're sort of just that two-tone, you know, a solid background with a single color. Um, I do love the marble star pattern. Um, I love that it incorporates that sort of geometric look, but really softens it because it's, it's being done with two different marble look colors. Um, the other one that I love, and if anybody here speaks French, I apologize, my accent is very bad, um, but it's the, the Trois Bond, I think is how it's pronounced. It means three stripe in French. Um, and it's really cool because depending on how you lay that one out, you get really unique different patterns. Um, and that's another thing that I know that designers are looking for ways that they can really personalize uh, their designs and their spaces. Now, most of the pattern tiles that we've been looking at and that we've been seeing forever have been on squares, but the hexagon shape is just such a fun shape. And it, you know, we know that our customers love it, that we wanted to create some patterns on that shape. Uh, so we did two collections. Uh, the first one here is the Ragno. Um, it's an Italian word. Again, my accent's not that great, but it does mean spider uh, in Italian. You can very obviously see where the name comes from looking at this photo here. Um, it comes in two different colors. It, it, the, the, the Blanco that's shown here, as well as the taupe uh, in the bottom right uh, photo there. Um, what's great about this, again, the layout is, is really what makes it fun. Uh, three completely different patterns can be created using this tile. Um, in addition to that, what I love is that the grout choice that you make makes a big difference as well. So the top left photo and the bottom left photo, it's the same layout, but using a dark charcoal or a black grout in the bottom and using that lighter color in the top completely changes the design. Uh, so really your, your grout choice means that you can get sort of six different uh, designs out of this tile. The thing with the, the taupe that I love too is that it has sort of a cement uh, background with the white stripe. So it's a little less uh, um, contrast there. It's a little bit softer. So you get really geometric and then you get some geometric, but it's a little bit softer. And sort of speaking to that softer look, um, we did want to have something in the hexagon that wasn't so geometric. And so that's why we brought in this chambray. Um, this is named after a small little town in France. Um, and you can see there in the patterns that very sort of fleur de -lis reminiscent. Um, with a hexagon in this sort of cement or encaustic look, you get three different patterns uh, on the floor. Um, and we love the, the black on top of this sort of taupey background. We think it really just pops that pattern really well. 
Okay, pickets are one of my all time new favorite shapes. I think they're just a, just a lot of fun and they come in a lot of different colors and they come a lot of different sizes. So we wanted to make sure that we had a really good breadth of assortment here as well. Um, our first collection that we have is the uh, picket Florencia. Um, and this is a three and a half by 12 inch uh, picket. I sort of think of pickets as like somewhere between a subway tile and a hexagon, because it is a hexagon, um, just elongated to create something a little more unique. Um, so this comes in three different colors. It has the Super Bianco, uh, the Smoke, and then the Grigio Chiaro. And you can see there in the photo, they look great when they're done as a blend, but they're just as striking if you, if you did all of one color. Um, with the picket shape, because it's such a unique uh, look, um, grout color would really play a, a big role here too. I think, you know, go with something really high contrast to super highlight uh, the shape or go something a little subtler so it's, it's not quite as bold. The other thing we wanted to make sure we did is that we had um, mosaics in this picket shape as well. So, you know, thinking about scale and, and doing these in smaller spaces like a shower floor or in a smaller backsplash, uh, we wanted to have those. So we've got the solids as well as the blends and the blends incorporate the colors from the solids so you can actually use them uh, together, which is really fun. And finally, we added this one here, the Naime White Alhambra. Um, this one is sort of similar to the, the first picket that we looked up in, in terms of size but we only have it in the one color for right now. Um, but it does have this really unique uh, sort of uh, reverse bevel or frame on the outside edge, which again, sort of like a contrasting grout color really highlights the shape of this. So the shadows that this frame creates when it's on a wall are just really, really cool. So terrazzo is another trend that we've been seeing everywhere in home decor, whether it's accent tables or you know lamps or anything like that uh, we, we see it in in flooring as well um but terrazzo can be a little trickier to install it can also be trickier to maintain um, and keep it looking brand new so we really wanted to bring this in but to do it in porcelain um, and that way you get all the benefits and durability and easy maintenance of porcelain but you still get the the great look of the terrazzo so these are eight by eight uh, tiles, um, and they come in two colors, the Bianco and the Nero. And in each color, we have two different sizes of the aggregate. So you have the macro sort of chunkier aggregate and then the micro, which is a lot finer. Um, I really love the color uh, of the aggregate. They're sort of the same aggregate, just with different background colors. So you get like rusty reds and you get soft tans and cool grays. So you can really go a lot of different directions in terms of the color palette you use with these. Um, the, the photo on the right there is from a recent uh, one room challenge. And I really love how they paired that with the really warm wood because it's really pulling the, the color of that sort of rusty uh, warm brown out of uh, that terrazzo look. When we brought these in originally, um, we were showing some of our sales associates to see what they thought. They were excited, but they were sort of like, what do we use them with? Um, and so one thing that we do every time we add a new tile is we, we go to our showrooms and we see if it's going to work with the rest of our assortment. Because what we don't want is you to come in and find a really great tile and then not be able to pair it with anything. Um, and what I love with these two mood boards that we put together is that it goes with like a lot. Like we've got glass, we've got brick, we have natural stone, limestone, we have ceramic, we have, you know, all different types of material blend really well with these looks. Um, in fact, on the right photo, uh, the very bottom mosaic there, that's actually a brand new tile as well. Um, that is our new track stack. And I really love this size, this shape. Um, around the hallways, we've sort of been calling them Kit Kats because that's just what they remind us of. Um, and I really like how this sort of really, uh, you know, stacked, not staggered horizontal or vertical look is really great. Um, also with the smaller shape, um, you're able to do curves with this, which would be really beautiful. So if you have a curved wall or if you have, say, a, a recessed niche in your shower with an arch, um, something like this could be used uh, for that as well. The other thing that I really love about this tile is that the, the glazing on this pools in different ways around the edges than it does on the, on the, the middle of the tile. And what that does is it just creates um, different thicknesses of glazing. And so when they fire in the kiln, you get slightly different coloration on that. Um, it just gives it a little bit of sort of a handmade look, which is really fun. Now we've been talking a lot about, um, you know, 
things that are real materials that are translated into tile. We talked about real zellig and then having a manufactured version of it. We talked about wallpaper and then having tile. Same thing with um, terrazzo, right? Um, so we'd be remiss if we didn't talk about how our wood and stone look, which have been around for quite some time now. Um, but we have added a few new collections uh, to those looks. So we'll start with our LVT. Um, we've never sold LVT, um, but our customers were asking for it. And so we were like, hey, you get what you want, right? <laughs> but we wanted to make sure that we didn't sacrifice any quality when we were bringing in um, the, the vinyl tile. So we went and found a material, it's called stone polymer composite, and it's sort of the highest quality in durability and in features that you can get in uh, LVT. Um, it's got six different layers. Some of those layers are for durability. Some of those layers allow for um, better imagery on the surface and for better texture on the surface. Um, there's a layer on the bottom that's the, that's the uh, sort of rubber that you need for doing a floating floor. And this, the click and lock system for installing this is super easy, so you don't need any adhesives. Anybody can do this, um, and you know it's it's really uh, nice to have a little bit of variety here. So we brought in three stone looks, and we brought in three wood looks. Um, the other thing that we we added to make sure that you could complete your project is that for every single color that we have here, there are four different uh, trim pieces. Uh, so that you can seamlessly go from you know the, the the vinyl to carpet or if you have a stair edge that you need to do we have the quarter round for meeting up to baseboard so everything that you would need to finish your project uh, we've got for you a new marble look that we brought in is this calcutta sky i absolutely adore this color this blue is so wonderful and it's not something that you would really see in nature. So what's great about having this porcelain marble look tile is that we can be inspired by real materials, but then we can let our designer hat <laughs> uh, take over and then we can do something really fun with it. So this is uh, a 12 by 24 great, uh, you know, comes in polish that you see here in the, the photo. It also comes in matte for a little bit of a softer look, but I am just in love with the blue in this marble. It's so cool. Some more marble looks that we brought in. Again, you know, when we love something, we want to try it in a new shape. So we did the same thing here with these hexagons. We took that beautiful marble look that we know and love, and we uh, translated it here to the hexagon to sort of give it a, a little bit of an interesting take on that marble. Um, what I love about this mix here is that we have obviously a lot of different colors, um, but also we've got different sort of styles of veining. So you can have really bold, striking, thick veins, and you can also have these really fine sort of delicate veining uh, as well. And as much as we love our uh, marble look tiles, you can't really beat the real thing. Um, our Volokos collection, we added right at the end of this past year, um, and we absolutely love it. It's this gorgeous white marble from Greece. Um, it has this beautiful white background with stunning uh, veining in it. So it's sort of a taupey vein with a, like a hint of like a plum tone to it. Um, and that color really allows you to go either cool or warm uh, with your design. Um, when we look for natural stone, um, we partner uh, very heavily with, with the quarries and with the manufacturers to make sure that all the parts and pieces that you need uh, for your project are included in the collection. So we've got field tile, we have all the mosaics, we have trim and profile pieces, and we have the accessories that you need. We have corner shelves and seats, we have thresholds for your transitions, um, totally full collection. The other thing that we do when we're looking at any kind of natural stone is we try it out in all the finishes that are available. We look at it in polished, we see it honed, we see it in brushed, even tumbled, um, to see which finish really brings out the, the, the true beauty of the stone. Sometimes a couple different finishes look great, and so we add them both. Um, for the Volokos, uh, the, the honed finish was just an absolute showstopper. It really brings out the veining so beautifully. Um, and we also knew that we, we have a lot of polished white marbles. So we wanted to bring in something that had the look and feel of that sort of traditional marble, but was a little bit softer and a little more casual because of that honed finish. 
So our last trend that we wanted to talk about today is how we see everybody using our products in ways that really personalize those spaces. Um, and, and specifically, we've been seeing a lot using really like using the color to, to make those spaces personal. So we wanted to show a few different uh, designs that we absolutely love using our products. This first one here is by uh, Bari Ackerman um, and they're using uh, two different colors from our Imperial collection. Um, I love what they've done here, framing out the mirrors and mimicking the, the curve and the arch in the mirror. Um, I used to work on our sales floor and, and worked with contractors and installers all the time. And I can tell you the expertise and the attention to detail required to make this happen with all those grout joints lining up and those hexes being perfectly aligned is amazing. So shout out to the installer on this one. This is an absolute showstopper in terms of technique. Um, and I just, I think the colors here are really great. A few other spaces that we see using color in really exciting ways. Um, on the left, we have a design by Fox Homes here in Minnesota, um, and they've used our Color Market uh, collection, which has 29 different colors. Um, it's sort of a brick look, so it's a it's a manufactured tile, but it has that sort of brick finish to the surface, um, and it's a matte finish, so it's a, a little bit softer too. Uh, they use 11 colors in this backsplash, but I think it's really cool. Like this really cool, like retro 70s color palette that I think is just a lot of fun and the design and, and pattern is really cool. Um, on the right is another completely different look using that same collection um, by At Home with Ashley. Um, they've done uh, and taken a, a really bright, fresh uh, take on, on that collection, creating that sort of rainbow wall. And then the center photo is by JCAT, Design and Build. And, the color that they chose is absolutely striking, but the thing I wanted to point out with this photo that we absolutely love is the decision to go with this bright white grout. It just completely changes the look here. It really sets off the color of the tile. Um, it enhances the, the layout that they've chosen to do, that horizontal stack. Um, and it also highlights that there's a slight pillow um, on this tile as well. So I, just a really fun way to incorporate color and, and using that white grout. Yeah, I love, I actually, Luke, these also kind of remind me of, which we weren't able to share today, but we do have some other very beautiful handmade looks coming in that have just arrived that are kind of in these like <clears throat> greens and aqua colors and just absolutely gorgeous finishes and, and we're excited for those. Hopefully you might see them in stores in a couple of weeks as well. We weren't able to get them in the presentation though, but loving how people are using tile as such a design element, just so unique and personalized and and embracing color. Definitely, and we love to get, uh, you know, inspiration from our customers as well. We love it when they share their uh, finished spaces. We love it when they share their in-progress uh, spaces with us as well. What's so interesting is that, you know, we see a tile and we sort of immediately imagine how we want to use it. And then without fail, our customers do something completely different with it. And it just takes us completely by surprise. And we absolutely love seeing those um, because it gives us fresh inspiration, new ideas. Um, so, if, you know, if you're posting uh, photos of, of projects where you're using our products, please tag us in your Instagram or Facebook posts. Um, those photos come to us. And, you know, if we can use them, we'll reach out to make sure that you're okay with us using them. But we love putting them on our website so that other customers can see how the tile really comes to life. So that is sort of the end of our presentation for products. But I do want to pass it off to Sean to sort of wrap things up. Yes. Yeah, so Love, again, reiterating, love seeing your spaces. Tag us at the Tile Shop on Instagram. Um, we love featuring your spaces. If you're a designer, builder, contractor, we um, have a handful featured in our next catalog that will be coming out in a month or so. Um, we'll be sending a survey link after the end of this, and you can also sign up to receive one of those. So um, please do, and you can see different ways. We love to feature our pro partners. Um, so speaking of that, if you have worked with us before, you might be familiar with our Pro Rewards program, but we do have exclusive benefits for trade professionals. Um, we offer a 5% back referral program where you can earn um, cash back on any time you have a referred order. So if you're specking for a builder or um, working with a homeowner and you're not actually purchasing the tile, you, there's a program for you just as there is for um, 
tiered discounts and exclusive pricing if if you're the one placing the orders but other benefits like free samples online ordering um you can do this all online um through your account when you sign up so if you're not signed up today please join on tileshop.com slash pro and um thank you again for joining us um Again, if you have any questions, you can email either Luke or myself, or um, you can, and our emails are here on the screen. Um, for any follow-ups, we'll be sending the recording out to the email you signed up with for the Zoom registration. It'll automatically go to tomorrow. Um, and if you, uh, we have an event on the 21st, a virtual event for a CEU. So keep an eye out if you need any continuing education credits, we will be offering an event on the 21st. Um, thanks for your time today, everyone. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.